Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Here we do unboxing videos, we discuss general shoe knowledge, we do worth the price videos as shoe reviews, and we will do shoe battles uh, comparing shoe to shoe so that you can understand the differences. I also speak to experts in the field. So now we're going to take a look at a brand called Laszlo Vass. And once again, we're going to refer to the remarkable book that I picked up called Shoes, The Art of Male Footwear by Hugo Giacome and Sonia Glynn. This, uh, this book has a, a, a really great history on each brand, and it really focuses in on some wonderful pictures um, of different pieces in the brand and um, some, some beautiful things on, on what it can be. Now this is actually looks like a, an Ascot Con, which I have, I don't have any Reptile on mine, but I didn't bring that shoe with me today. Today, and of course they're, I think they're really, really well known for the Austerity Brook, but today I brought a Budapest shoe, which is here. And I brought this because um, this is my my pure Vast shoe, my Ascot Khan, the upper is actually not made by Vass, and so I wanted to focus on these. Now, as I look at um, these, now um, my Khan is on a U last, this is on a um, New Peter last. This is just a very, very high quality shoe, and it offers a very very solid wear when I say solid I, it is a little stiff okay uh, you can see it's gotten quite a bit of wear um, they had originally um, patinaed the soles for me um, I, mean, I, set, I sent the whole shoe to a patina artist and he did that as a favor to me so they used to look like that and they're wearing you know significantly but uh, these are JR soles um, JR heels you know, if you look at the uh, the heel block, um, you look at the leather, it's very, very good. You can see the, um, the crimping, it's very subtle. They just, or gimping, gimping, I guess they call it. I always call it pinking because it looks like what you do with pinking shears. But I guess they, I was talking to a shoemaker the other day and he corrected me, it's actually called gimping. And uh, just beautiful, beautiful medallions, beautiful stitching, and the level of detail, the level of execution in the shoe. And you get this very, very solid shoe tree that comes with the shoes, made exactly for the last. So you look at the two together, it is an absolute perfect fit. And um, that is really what, what, what Vast is all about. Um, it's about um, handmade shoes. These are hand welted, they are hand sewn. My understanding, hand sewn top to bottom, even the soles. And as you look at the sole, you know, there's a little bit of imperfection there, a little bit of inconsistency, but not much, but enough to think, hey, this is an actual person doing it, not running it through a machine. Okay. And of course, they close the channels with a hammer to keep that nice and clean on the bottom as well. So uh, as, as I think about, you know, what intrigues me about the brand, their designs are as good as their leather. I mean, this is a typical Budapest shoe, five eyelet, um, uh, full brogue derby that's kind of the definition of a budapest um, is the derby full brogue and um, you know that the way that it gets closer together the way that it uh, uh, the way that it has a round last not a pointed last the way that the soles are edged in a plain way just screams, hey, this is a person actually doing it with their hands, not running it through a machine. And to me, that's that's part of the ethos of the brand. It's just very, very high quality. Um, the patina artist complained about the leather. It was really hard to strip. Uh, just very, very high end. 
Um, and, uh, you know, as, as I wear them more, um, it does, I mean, it, you can see that it flexes really well and um, has loosened in the parts that flex uh, pretty well. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy with it. I feel like it's um, a good value for what you get. Uh, this is definitely in the just over $500 price range and uh, a good shoe for the dollar. So this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and that's my thoughts on Vass by Laszlo Vass. Uh, he also came up with a really cool book of his own on handmade shoes and making them. Uh, it's a good read. If you're interested in shoes and you're kind of a shoe not like me, it's worth the price to pay for it. You will read it. You'll read it again, and then you'll read it a third time. It's just uh, it's cool to understand the art of shoemaking. Uh, from that perspective. So thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts and have a wonderful day.